You need a man that can teach you, ladies. Again, we need to be, oh, Lord, I hate to say this. We need to be under somebody's leadership, under somebody's control. We do. Look at what we do when we don't. Look at what we do, ladies, when we are not under some man's control. Let's just look. And the catch to it all is this, y'all. We say, well, I don't want a man to control me or I don't want a man to submit to. Then we turn around and we're still being controlled and we're still submitting to bullshit that, again, is not doing us any good. We turn around and we submit to what? These genetically modified modern day females that's controlling you and telling you what you need to do. Like, you're already doing that. This is how I know. And I know this sounds so bad and male identified. And like, I'm just so, I'm woman shaming and woman bashing. I know. I know how this sounds, but just hear me out. This is how I know women, we need to be controlled. Because no matter where we go, that's the very thing that we're looking for. Mm, hold on. Whoopsie. Everywhere that we go, that's the very thing that we're looking for. We can be in denial all we want to. We can be in denial all we want to and say, oh no, I can't be under somebody else's rule and I can't be trying to follow the lead of somebody else. But then you turn around and what do you do? You go to these women, these females platforms and guess what they're doing? Controlling you. They're controlling you in the worst ways, too. She ain't teaching you shit but how to give her your money. She ain't teaching you shit but how to stay stuck, stagnant, and single. So again, she can have your money. She's teaching you how to submit to the almighty genetically modified modern day female. And you have no problem. There's no argument, there's no fight. Because that's what you naturally are looking for. You're looking for somebody to guide you, to tell you what to do, how to do it, when to do it. It's in our nature, baby. You can't escape nature. You can't escape your female nature, baby. So y'all can do all of this hopscotching and jump roping, crip walking and blood walking all over the fact that, you know, I don't want no man that's going to tell me what to do. I'm my own boss. I'm my own woman. But everywhere you go, you're looking for that void to be filled. That void of, I need a man to control. I need a man to dominate. I need a man to guide and lead and teach. Everywhere you go, you're going, that's what you're doing. Whether you're doing it with another female, your job, your career, school, the government, politics. Like you're looking for somebody to control you, to lead you, to guide you. It just so happens that when it comes to your relationships with men, strong masculine men, wise, intelligent men, you try to dodge it then, but you're still doing the same thing when you go elsewhere. So what are you really doing? What are you really doing? What, pro what are you really escaping? Do y'all want me to lie? Again, 
this is how I know it's in a female's nature to be uh, under somebody else's leadership and control. Because we're constantly looking for replacements of our men and other things, other people. And here's the catch, y'all. We then turn around and become upset at the fact that our lives are in shambles. This is what we do. This is what we do because we're making everybody else our man, whether that be our job, these genetically modified modern day females on YouTube, social media, career, school, whatever, the government, because we're doing all of this in, the, in an attempt to escape the man, everything crumbles, everything falls apart, everything collapses. Then what do we do? Complain. We complain, are oh, these men so weak? Are oh, these men so dumb? And I'm tired of doing all of this and I'm tired of doing all of that. And why I gotta lead everything and why I gotta work so hard and why and why and why? Look at what you choose. You choose that life. That's what really pisses me off. We make all of these decisions for ourselves as strong, independent boss bitches. Then when everything is collapsing and falling apart, we complain. We complain that men, again, they don't provide, they don't lead, they don't teach, they don't correct, they don't respect, they don't, but look at what you choose. You don't choose those type of men anyway. How dare you? My life is so fucked up and it's all because of the men that you choose. Why do we try to escape accountability so much? Especially when it pertains to who we choose. We love those broke dummies. We love those weak ass dudes because it made us feel like we were in control. It made us feel powerful, dominant. It made us feel needed. Because here I am being the head in my relationship, being the head in my household. And you know damn well that's ass backwards as a, as a woman. You know that. But because it made you feel but see, the things about feelings is this, you guys. Feelings are fleeting. They're temporary. They come and go. We need solid shit. This is why we got to stop dealing with dumb, weak-ass men. They can't build anything solid. That outlasts and outweigh your feelings. <laughs> 